Well, that like, you know, you guys can take all of that into your next adventures. You know some of the conflicts that you have in the group, some of the shared backstory that you have with your party members. And so that is at that point. At this point, that's the full character creation portion. Um, there is like another piece to this, which is going through like a map setup. But given that we have been here for a while, I think we're just going to skip that for the night. Um, but I did think it might be a fun little closing activity, specifically because we have new players. This is something that I used to do a lot when I was working with newbies is to do some test roles. So we'll do them very quickly and everything, but to kind of get a feel wait, for how wait. rolling why are we? Why are we rushing? Um. <laughs> I just don't want to be here forever, but but we're gonna. Fine. It's, it's gonna be a great time. It's gonna be a great time. So does everybody have? Remember that for this specifically, you need to have a hope die and a fear die of your two different colors. If everybody wants to like show them and stuff, what your dice look like. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay. Me so and my best friend match. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Kayla, I think that yours might be a D8. Let me see that okay. one real Wait, quick. Wait, which one? No, 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 no. Which one am I supposed to hold up? The, I just thought I was picking them. They have 12 sides. Okay, is it, is it this one? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. And the white okay. one that matches that. That's what I did before. That, that didn't happen. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's exactly, yeah, perfect. So, all right. So remember that for this part, we are going to be rolling both. I'm going to, in this case, tell you what the difficulty class is so that you know if you're passing the check. You are going to add your own modifier to it. Whatever trait modifier you've put in, you're going to oh, add that. So, and that, that's something that uh, they recommend for the game as well. And I pulled these out as an example piece, but these are little things. So um, rather than having to like say plus two, they say grab these little... And you can use whatever, just like character specific um, tokens. And then you can just toss those out while you're rolling your dice and just add that in. So if you have like, you add your numbers on your dice and if you have two tokens out, you just add two to it. Um, just to like give you a like physical representation of that number on your like rolling surface. Yeah. That's yeah. And absolutely. For this also, I want to know, we have our hope. This is all freebies. If you can apply your experience to any of these, tell us how you're applying that experience and you can add either your plus two or your plus one. Let's not add both in this case. But the first one, okay, we're going to be making an agility check, okay? So a tree is falling. You are you are walking through the sable wood at this point. A tree is falling right beside you and you need to get out of the way fast. So we're all going to roll for agility Again, if you have an experience in this, you can use it. Um, the skill check in this case is a 12. So roll both of your dice and don't touch them once you've rolled. Go ahead, roll your do dice. We tell you, do we tell you our experience beforehand? Yeah, ab we? absolutely, if you have one to apply. Okay, so first off, I would have, I feel like this is an ability check, uh, so I would have advantage Great. Uh, because of my race. Absolutely. Um, so that means I add a D6 to my roll. 100%. Um, and then I would say that uh, I would yell out, uh, um, but, uh, uh, dodge here, put your foot here. And I would use my put your foot here experience to uh, help people get out of the way. Amazing. So you're getting a D6 and you're adding your plus two to that, right? Plus one. That's plus a, one. The plus one. Yeah. Okay. Is anybody else using an experience for this agility check? Um, are Can there I? any more? Oh, go ahead. Can I use Swamp Princess? This is not the first time a tree has fallen in her swamp. I'm saying 100%. Absolutely okay. you can. I love okay. it. She was ready. Her little ears perked up. She has no ears. I remember little, your whole perked up. That, yeah, and usually you would mark your hope off to use it. So you don't, okay. but in this case, you're not going to, it's all freebies right. for now. So, okay. all right. Okay. And anybody else have an experience to use? Is, is there a large rock nearby? Uh, I'm going to roll a, I'm going to roll a D6. Th a four through a six will mean yes. It's a four. So there is a large rock nearby. 
I'm not very I'm not very uh, agile, so I'm looking to just you know turtle near a large rock using my you know rock and stone. I know that's a sturdy rock; a tree might land on it, but I'll be protected there, and I can just kind of crawl out of the, what's you know a little slant there from it. Amazing! Which okay. experience is that using? Uh, rock and stone. Amazing. That'd be a plus two. Chris, to negate my negatives. Do you have one that you want to use? Uh, I don't, I don't think any of mine are really applicable, but I'm a pretty agile fairy anyway. Right. So. so because we took time to do that, if you've already rolled, totally fine. If you want to re-roll, that's okay. But remember, if you leave them once you've rolled. So go ahead. Yeah. Want to note, uh, uh -huh. I was going to say, I'm taking your suggestion on mine since I kind of like a light one and a dark one, but this one is covered in skulls. I'm going to have that as my negative one or that. my fear that's one. Fear. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So again, the DC was 12 in this case. So the first thing you do is you're going to add the totals of both of your dice plus any of your modifiers. So did everyone succeed on the check? Did everybody roll more than 12? Is it more than or meet it to beat it? Meet it I to beat it. I made 12. Okay. okay. Exactly Perfect. 12. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Amazing. But I rolled okay. with I rolled with fear, though, because of the black diamond. That was going to be yeah. the next thing that I was asking. So who rolled with hope and who rolled with fear? 16 with fear for me. Uh, I got a 20 with hope. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my I'm God. Oh, let's go. Fear. Okay, perfect. Well, we all understand how that works. You know, in this case, maybe y'all were trying to sneak through the woods, those of you that rolled with fear and... Unfortunately, during that little fiasco, you did let out a yelp, and now you know that it's going to be a little run. But fantastic job, everyone. Okay, next one. We're going to do a presence check, okay? Same rules apply. So first, here's the scenario. You have mistakenly wandered into a restricted area of the library, and you forgot your ring of invisibility. Darn. All of a sudden, though, the librarian, which who is a very intimidating dwarven woman with the most beautiful beard you have ever seen, comes around the corner. You guys claim as a group to have gotten lost, but you're going to need to roll a presence check and let me know if you're a roll, uh, you are invoking an experience. You are specifically trying to deceive in this situation. So uh, the skill check is a 15. She's a tough, if very sexy librarian. Are there any experience that we can apply to this? Anybody got experience? Sexy librarians are my guy's specialty. He has <laughs> two tickets to the gun show. <laughs> Excellent. So, yes. I'm okay. going to use that. Perfect. And I... He's just going to be flexing around a little bit inconspicuously. And uh, it's, it, you know, it's going to work. Try to make that that dwarf blush. I love it. Who else has an experience? I, I want to use the plus one. Which way are you looking? I legitimately didn't know where I was going. Amazing. I was following the wrong eye. Fantastic. Sorry, librarian. Absolutely. Steven, Justin, either of you applying an experience? Or you... uh, I'm, I'm curious. I'm like, if this would be like, you know, using a domain card during... Not in, like not combat. So this would be a situation where like I might would try to help the entire party. Like say if I were to go first, I could try to enrapture this other dwarf uh, lady with her beautiful beard uh, and just pull her attention in towards me to like help the rest of the party go by un like, unnoticed. In every other actual situation, yes. In this testing roles, I'm going to say no so that we could do the pro But I love where your head is at. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what I was going to walk through that. If that, you know, that is a yeah. reasonable, like, uh, mechanically works. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Like, it, those abilities are not specifically combat or mm -hmm. anything. They can be used at any point. So, okay. So we know the people that are using experiences. Again, we're going to go ahead and roll. This is a 15 check. She's a sexy, tough librarian dwarf lady. Go ahead and roll. And you did, because it's a presence check, so if I have a plus two on that, I get to have yes, that. Yes, right? absolutely. That's that's absolutely part of this. Okay. okay. So 15 is the check, because everybody understands how the math is working and everybody's confident with it, right? How? Mm -hmm. Who did we get any successes? I just, I, I met it at a 15. At a 15? Failures? Yeah. Did anybody? Uh, I got thir thirteen with fear. Uh, she is too sexy. Too sexy. All I got right. an eight with hope. 
She's more of a beard lady. I only have a mustache. You know? Yeah, listen, she's not interested in your mustache. <laughs> and in fact, she is ashamed that you would even try to get her attention when she has the most luxurious mane. She's throwing you all out by the scruff of your, or sorry, your failures out by the scruff of your neck. <laughs> like, 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 okay, great. Fantastic. I promise we're going to go. We only have a couple more. So here's a McGruber. This is going to be a choose your own. Okay. You were tipped off that a bomb was set up in the highest tower of the castle. You are in the room right now, and it's clicking down with five seconds to go. This is not for everybody. Somebody make a decision very quickly. What are you doing? Feel free to ask questions about the room you're in, or tell me what is in the room to help you disarm that bomb. Specifically disarm. Is there... Well, no, anything that you want to do. Anything we have any idea how big this there, bomb would be? It's just oh, like we're, we're, we're yeah. uh yes, there is absolutely a window. An excellent question, Kayla. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I, I can fly it out. Yeah, my thoughts are maybe using this uh like grappler thing, which I think like when launches a grappling hook, grabs onto something and pulls it back. I'm curious, you no, know, run up, put the thing on the grappler initially, launch the grappler out said window. Uh I love Just it. Away. I'm going to say that that's a finesse check, I think. <laughs> Sounds like <laughs> a finesse to me. So, I'm going to I'm going to give it a I'm going to say it's finesse. Now, I will say, do you have an experience you I don't think that there's an experience you would be able to apply to this, but I will also say anyone who can help you could give you advantage by expending their own hope. Is anybody going to help our friend okay how so he's taking the grappler right mm -hmm. and throwing it out the window with his grappling hook mm -hmm. yeah i as a fairy i'm gonna fly by the window and it's gonna be like a ollie you and just in case he misses i'm gonna smack it <laughs> so that it hits the window exactly it'll be there playing like the opposite of a goaltender just making sure it goes it. in Mm -hmm. That yeah. is exactly the kind of thing that would give advantage. So you, Chris, are going to roll the D6 that he's going to be cool. able to add to it. So go ahead, Finesse. You're going to make your roll now, Justin. Um, I'm saying that, and again, usually I don't give you the DC, but you're really just trying to like use a tool you have all the time. Like I'm going to say it's pretty low. We're going to say a 10 is all that you have to hit. So, And then for this, I... Same as always, just doing the uh, 2d12s, and now it's adding, uh, adding his six and whatever my finesse is. Yes, exactly. Okay. So what, uh, Chris, did you get on your d6? I got a, a one. Okay, sick, sick. Okay, so, so a plus four. one. Okay, so 14 on the die, plus one for my finesse, plus that. So that puts that a 16 with fear. Okay. Uh, incredible all right so it absolutely works and you were trying to launch it out as you're doing it it's clicking down five four i don't know why it has a sexy lady voice three <laughs> two and as and you do it in that last moment you almost fail but we have tinkerbell right there and pff, kicks it out the window you see it explode outside of the window and as you four all Halflings in a trench coat style peek over the window. You see the royal guard all look up at you, and you are gonna have to get out of that tower very fast. But excellent work, you've done it. All right, next one. We are closing down. So, this one, Kayla, is specifically for you. Your absolutely gorgeous ribbit is walking in the swamp, minding her own business to get a ham roll and an orange drink from the local bodega. If you know, you know. <laughs> Apparently. All of a sudden, this passing ribbit sporting a t-shirt that says hashtag anti on he's an anti-vaxxer, uh, grabs your shoulder and says, you should smile more, sweetheart. What do you do? This is a harder check. Dismantling the patriarchy is never easy. Just, you know. I, I, I would, I would like give her help. my experience. Fantastic. I love that. I would stand slightly behind him and put my hands gesturing to his ass and I'd say put your foot here <laughs> <laughs> now I don't 
don't think that you can give your experience to someone else, but I will let you help and roll the D6 for advantage. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. Okay, fantastic. What I would like to do, she does like a slow blink. Like one eye closes, then the other one opens just like that. She stares at it just like that, and then she hits him and is in one of his eyes with her tongue. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. I love it. I love it. Okay. I am going to say that this is, uh, I'm going to put this at a 14 as a DC for oh, no. it. Again, dismantling the patriarchy is tough. Okay. You know, but, but anyway, the, all right. So you're going to go ahead and roll. And for this one specifically, I think that's going to be a presence because you're specifically okay. using like a charming maneuver to do it. And you have your experience to add to that as well. So you're going to roll, add your presence, and your experience for the which way is she looking, right? Because you're mm -hmm. using your... Right, so, obviously, yes. So you go ahead and roll your D12s. Steven, you roll your D6. Go ahead. Oh, it's 10 plus 12. That's 22. Plus, right? Steven, what is yours? I got to yeah. roll those two, I... so... 24. That is and big enough. with hope. Yeah. <laughs> Kay that is a big enough score that I'm not going to describe the situation. Kayla, you get to tell me what happens to this anti-vaxxer telling you to smile. All right. Let's see. Okay. So that happens. He, um, he falls to the floor and he's just like looking at me and he's like, why? And I'm like, you should smile more. Can I hit him in the other eye with my Sure. Tongue? You absolutely <laughs> can. Blah, blah. Well, that <laughs> amazing amazing just knocked oh. out 10 out of 10 mm -hmm. for dismantling the patriarchy okay chris you're foraging for teeth in the forest and all of a sudden you spot the <laughs> cutest dog you have ever seen in your life which is pretty tough um but he does look a little distrusting what do you do you really want angry to dog him. a little distressed but you really want to pet him i really want to pet him um Gotta pet that dog. I definitely gotta pet the dog because it's a canine. I'm into canines. Figuratively, if not literally. So I, I go in. Absolutely. Okay, great. So you're just reaching right for it. All right. That's going to be, I'm going to call it a presence check in this case. So go ahead and we're, this is going to be a straight roll. I'm not going to ask for any help on this roll or anything, and I'm not going to give you the DC. You're just going to roll your hope and fear die and tell me what the fine, what the report is, okay? All right, let's run it. <laughs> Five with fear. All right, well, fortunately for you, and this is truly part of the plan, I absolutely promise, fortunately for you, um, the DC was one because this is my campaign. It's a very easy check in my game. All dogs are pettable. Remember, folks, everybody loves in video games when the programmers let you pet the dogs. In Tabletop RPG, your imagination is the code. You can pet every single dog. So no worries at all. You absolutely did it. Okay, um, and then lastly, this is going to be a skill check for me. Um, so, ooh, and actually, I think that the Twitch stream is going to very briefly have gone away, but don't worry. It's it's back. I accidentally hit a thing. Don't even worry about it, but get a load <laughs> of that dog. Okay, so the last one is going to be a skill check for me. So I, Rachel, am trying to set up a weekly game session for the new Dagger Heart tabletop role-playing game system with my friends, but it is hard. All of my favorite people are spread out across state lines and adult lives are very busy. Steven, will you adjudicate this role for me? I want you to, you know, go ahead and tell me what you want me to roll and you can set the DC and I will roll for it. Do you think this is a presence check? I would say, I'd say it's it's more of a finesse check. Okay, what would you assign my finesse? Uh, you got a pretty decent finesse. I'd probably give you a plus one. Okay, great, absolutely fantastic. Is is anybody gonna help me with this? Surely someone I will. Would, I would love to, but I'm trying to think of how. I mean, you're here. That's helping. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah, there we go. I'm here. One of one of your friends. She came back. Okay, okay. All right. There's the power of the internet behind you and online you gaming. Can I use my experience, Steven, in has super cool friends at a plus two? Yeah, yeah, I'll let you get that off. Okay, okay, sick. All right, all right, okay. Man, I really hope that this works, guys. This bit is way too long for this to fail, okay? But I promise I'm doing it real. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, and Kayla's gonna roll the d6. I'm getting oh, a, a plus. I'm glad you told me. What? Real quick, which one is the d6? It's got. It's the regular one, the one that like everybody you. knows. That and threw loves. me off too. I was like, that's six sides. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm getting a plus one from my finesse and a plus two from my has super cool friends experience. I got it. <gasps> Oh my gosh! It is a 10 on my hope die and a 2 on my fear. So that's 12 plus... You got a 6? I got a 6. 18, 19, 20, 21! I got 21! Does that beat you, it? You done you did, did it. it. You did it. it. It was... I had set it at 17. Arbitrary That's number. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> Thank god that the fates were with me. I will take a picture of this and put it in the Discord. But... That's it. That's everything that I have. So thank you everybody so much. I know we land, ran super wrong, long, not wrong. But wrong. We ran super wrong. <laughs> that's our session zero done and in the books. We are planning to meet back here next week for our session one of actual play. Thank you everybody who joined us tonight. There are 17 yeah. viewers in chat for a second one. That is not bad. I hope that you roll with hope. Happy adventures and pet that dog. Pet right? that dog. Pet, pet that dog. dog. Pet <laughs> like, that dog. All right. Well, thank you all so much. I hope you have a good night and bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Have a good one.